Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. Uh, let's keep working on flux cleanup because we don't want to let the flux build up around our base and make one of those flux rifts around here where it might destroy things. And that absolutely will happen if you're just using Thomcraft normally and doing essentially a smelting. It's just guaranteed. So we want some way to counteract that as much as possible. So we're going to look into flux cleanup. So we're going to need uh, an Observation in Oromancy, I think maybe two of them, uh, one in Artifice, one in Fundamentals, and one or possibly two Theories in Oromancy, I can't quite read those numbers, and then we need a File of Vitium. So I happen to already have a File of Vitium from the Nether Warp we did earlier, so now all we need is a Theory in Oromancy. So to focus for Oromancy, we will use the Focal Manipulator. Let's see here. That's alchemy. This is Golomancy. All right, whatever. Inspired. Golomancy. Okay, not what I wanted, but let's keep going. Okay, here we go. 15 Oromancy. Don't want to reject. Don't want to rethink. Here we go. More Oromancy. That's what I want. Okay, I can do reactions, experimentation, or infusion. So I'll do experimentation. I can do Celestial Studies and gain Golomancy, or gain Golomancy this way. I don't need Golomancy right now, I'm just going to go with Scripting. Okay. I don't have any option. I either have to get a brick and some Inversio, or a piece of clay. Well, let's go get some clay. Okay, let's use the clay to get more Golomancy. Okay, I can get Infusion. Alchemy, and Bonus Draw. Here we go, Oromancy. That's what I want. Okay. I did get one theory in Oromancy, so we must have had partial progress. Is that enough? No, it really does want to. Okay, keep going. I forgot to use my thing. If you uh, want to get rid of a theory and throw away all your research, just hit Scrap Theory at the bottom, and you can do that. There we go. Focal Manipulator, try again. Oromancy. There we go. Okay, two more theories. Perfect. So now we can definitely get the flux cleanup. Yeah, it does take two. I find the fonts in, in Thomcraft very hard to read sometimes. They're very small, and they're often against, you know, transparent backgrounds. They make them hard to read. Like in the, th in the thermometer, very hard to read those numbers, I think. I think it's even worse in the caster's gauntlet. Like, what is that number? 110? Maybe. Yeah, it probably is, but I could not tell. All right, so moving on. Flux cleanup. Okay, we can hit complete here. So we have completed our flux cleanup research. We need to get one of these flux condensers and a bunch of these flux condenser lattice pieces. So I forgot to gather any of the materials for this. So let me go grab some of that, and I will be right back. And you notice on this page, it requires 500 V for a flux condenser. So without that workbench charger, there was no way we were gonna come anywhere close to that, which is why I spent some time getting, making sure we had that. All right, I think I have all the material now. It's somewhat of an involved setup, but let's work on getting the flux condenser first. So to build that, we're gonna need a morphic resonator, which is in your Thaumonomicon. I believe it was on one of the first pages in Either Oromancy or maybe Artifice. There we go, Alchemy. So there we go, Morphic Resonators require 50V, some Ignis and Air Crystals, some Glass, some Brass Plates, and some Rare Earths. Now, Rare Earths, you'll just come across when you're mining. When you mine up a block, there's a chance to drop a Rare Earth. I don't know what the chance is, but as the name implies, it's pretty rare. You're not going to find tons of these things. But they're not like so rare that you won't find any as long as you're going mining. Okay, so let's get one of those. Go ahead and scan that Morphic Resonator. All right, back to the Flux Condenser. So we also need uh, four brass plates, a tube, a couple of planks, and a complex archive mechanism. We used simple ones before with the Golem, but now we need a complex one. So that's gonna require a piston, uh, some thomium plates, and two of the simple ones. So let's get a couple of those. And thomium plates are just thomium laid out in a row, one by three, just like the other plates are. 
So let's see, that should be fine. Are we scan plates? Should have. There's my complex mechanism. Okay, is that everything? Yep, that's everything. So there's the flux condenser. All right. So it took about, what, 435? So you can see how the VDS counts do add up when you have a really, you know, big project like this. Okay, now in addition to the flux condenser, we also need some of these flux condenser lattice pieces because this is what cleans the flux from the environment. And then the flux condenser draws that out and places it in bottles or water jars rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and make five of these. So we need nether quartz, essentia filters, and thomium plates. And they require 100 V each. So again, pretty expensive. Only 87 with our discount, but you know, still pretty expensive to make a lot of them. Now, uh, I have read online that the best makeup of these is a five by five grid. So eventually you'll want 25 of these, but it's not gonna be feasible from the very beginning to be able to do that. Okay, you also want some extra Essentia filters because at some point the flux condenser pieces become clogged and you have to right click with an Essentia filter to unclog them and clean them up. So let's go see how we set this up. Uh, we're probably gonna want this in the same chunk as you know, this thing because this is what's gonna generate almost all of your flux or at least a good portion of it. And flux, much like V, will balance between chunks. Although you may want to move your piece around or make more of them, depending on if you have flux in other chunks. So let's see here. What is my chunk boundaries? Looks like we're about halfway in here and halfway in there. So we'll probably want to set it up over here, although eh, it won't make a big deal. It won't make a big difference either way. I maybe should have set this room up in a single chunk, but eh, whatever. Okay, so we need to get some water jars and some more tubes. I'll be right back when I have those. Okay, so I've gathered up my jars. You're gonna wanna put one jar in the center and then you can surround it by four more jars. Now, the four jars on the outside are what you will feed into the condenser. The condenser requires Essentia to work. Any kind will do other than Vitium. You put the flux condenser on the middle jar, and when it cleans the flux out of the environment, it will go into this jar and become Vitium Essentia. So let's go ahead and put tubes on all four of these. Four is the max you can do, so that's as much V as you can feed it. It just takes time to work on. And then we need to put these flux condenser pieces on here. You have to start from the center. I'm gonna do it like this, although the center could get clogged and then none of this would work. So the more piece you have around your lattice, the better it works. So to get started, all we have to do is start dumping Essentia into these tubes. It will get drawn into the condenser and it will start cleaning up the flux, the flux in the environment. So I had a lot of leftover Terra and Herba Essentia, so I went ahead and used that. And there you go, you can see we've cleaned one point of flux out of the environment, or maybe 10, I'm not really sure. I think it's just one. I think it's one to one on here, but I think it's either five or 10 to one Essentia uh, to Vishim Essentia. But you can watch that work, and if we get our thermometer, our thermometer, you can see we're at 40, I think, 0.2 right now but eventually it will go down and it will make more as that goes on. So there it is, it's drawing in more Essentia and we've cleaned another point. So it does take some time, but uh, it is faster. Oh, and you can see we're already clogged up on one. So again, like I said, when you see them purple like this, right click with Essentia filter. Occasionally you'll get Vichium V crystals. It's not always, but it is usually. So once these are empty, just fill it with more Essentia. Now you might be thinking it's counterintuitive to make Essentia to clean Essentia, and that is true. You don't want to make Essentia to do this because the process will not generally balance out if you're just making it to clean things. I mean, it might if you've got a good lattice structure set up, but it might not. It's better just to make Essentia that you need and then use your leftovers to put in the jar. All right, so that covers flux cleanup. 
we'll come back next time, and we're down to 27 already, so, you know, not bad. Oh, no, wrong chunk. Huh. 39. But still, it is cleaning out. So, that covers, uh, you know, Flux Cleanup. Thanks for watching. See you next time.